this is kind of a weird review, but I'm trying to be real. <laughs> Good morning, everyone! So for today's video, I partnered with iHerb to share with you guys their new love letter. I picked up a bunch of products and I kind of did this video a little differently than I typically do like first impressions. I actually filmed this video throughout an entire week of me testing out the products. If you guys have been around on my channel before, you guys know that I love iHerb. I pick up a lot of my different household items from them. But on top of that, they just launched Love Letter, which is basically like a one-stop shop for you to pick up all kinds of different beauty, self-care items. For me, Love Letter is really convenient because I obviously use a lot of international brands. They ship to over 150 different countries and they also have like 6,000 different beauty products available. So boy, did I have my work cut out for me when I was picking these products. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing of the products that I picked out. Good morning. I think today is gonna be a good day to test some of these products out. I already have sunscreen on my face. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows and also prime my lips. This brand is totally new to me, W7. I picked out their Socialite Indulgent Multi-Textured Pressed Pigment Palette. Ugh. They look like this. Ooh, kind of looks like a very expensive palette I know. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply these. Oh my gosh, a lot of these look really fun. Okay, so I have to say I'm so impressed by this palette. My expectations were not that high for this, but this is really pretty and nice. So the next thing I'm gonna be using is the Misha Bold Effect Pen Liner. Now I have to admit, I've been using this for the past couple of days. I could cut someone with that sharpness. So we know I like how this draws a sharp pointed line, but we'll see how this lasts throughout the day. So next I'm gonna try this mascara from Hemish. This is the Dalism Smudge Stop Mascara. I've actually seen that this is a pretty popular mascara in general, so I'm excited to see how this works. My lashes are, oh no, I always do that. It's definitely a more wet formula. I'm gonna have to wipe that off after I'm done. Okay, I can see why people like this. It's definitely very lengthening and it hits every single lash. But let's go ahead and move on to my face makeup. I'm gonna be using this from Misha as well. This is the Signature Wrinkle Fill Up BB Cream. I've honestly just been using my fingers for this. I feel like that's the best way to apply BB Cream. BB Cream on that side. No BB Cream on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some blush and all that kind of stuff. One thing I have to say that I like about this BB cream in particular is it gives me that natural skin look. I still have some coverage, I still have some skin perfecting benefits, but one thing I like about BB creams is that I can kind of still see some of the marks on my skin, like my freckles or you know, some things that give my skin a little character. So days like this where I'm just running around, this is kind of perfect. So this cute little thing is gonna be perfect today because this is a lip tint and I got the shade number two. Oh, mm, it smells so good. Okay, Morgan with tints, a little goes a long way. I have to remind myself like dot dot, not a lot. Actually, I need a little bit more. Okay, now I apply too much. <laughs> Thank goodness mousse formulas are a little bit more forgiving. Um, and I stained my finger. This is why I don't use tints. This is my makeup look for the day. Wish me luck. I've got a long day um, and I gotta run. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So we're at Ikea. We're doing some shopping. They got a lot of new stuff here. Our aesthetic. <laughs> I'm 
like most of the way through my day. I've been wearing my makeup for about like five or six hours, so I wanted to share with you guys what my face looked like. The lip tint kind of wore off. My face makeup still looks pretty good, and my eye makeup looks bomb, so I'm really excited about that. Kind of like a late lunch right now. We just got back from Ikea, so I think that's gonna be in another video. <laughs> so we're having lunch. Mmm. Yeah. My lips have all worn off. Okay, obviously not the best camera quality, but I wanted to grab my phone and update you guys on some of the products that I picked up from iHerb because I just used a couple of them. Actually, they've been in my shower for a couple days, so I've been using them for a couple days, but I use them all right now. I guess I'm gonna get in my tub, because right there, oh, boink, boink, is the face wash I just used. <laughs> This is kind of a weird review, but I'm trying to be real. It's very gentle. Um, it did have a little bit of a, a difficult time removing some of my mascara because I have more stubborn mascara on today. Maybe not the best for heavy makeup wearers, but it's really gentle, I can tell. I just washed my hair with this. Can I say how much I love Japanese hair products now? Like these are drugstore hair products and they're way better than the ones we have here in the States. This is from Crazy, the revitalizing shampoo. It's pretty sudsy. Boy, does this smell good. And you actually can't tell right now, but I have the corresponding revitalizing hair treatment conditioner in my hair. Usually when I hop in the bathtub, I just rinse off really quick, wash my hair super fast, and my face, so I'm not doing that in my dirty bath water. <laughs> and then I do a hair treatment. This is like something that I do as like a self-care me night. And then I'm gonna throw in one of these. I love these. This is actually a new box of different scents that I haven't tried, so I'm excited to dip in. I have the orange box, but we'll see how I think about the pink box. Now me and my wet self are gonna get back in the bathtub. <laughs> Now to share with you guys my thoughts on some of the products, I was definitely impressed by the W7 Socialite Indulgent Multi-Textured Pressed Pigment Palette. This is obviously a dupe palette, but I thought it performed really well. I'm actually wearing it on my lids today. And it's definitely great if you love lavender, raspberry, kind of purpley shades. So if your budget is limited, this is definitely a good option for you. Moving on to some of the other makeup products, let's go over the Misha Signature Wrinkle Fill Up BB Cream. Now, I really like this because it kept my dry skin moisturized throughout the day. It lasted probably about six to seven hours before I saw it starting to wear off. And like I mentioned in the vlog, I really like that it gave me that skin effect. My skin looked a little bit more perfected, not so perfect where it was just unrealistic. I like that I could still see some of the features of my skin. And for days where I'm running around or I don't wanna be bothered with a ton of makeup, this is perfect. Also for Misha, the Bold Effect Pen Liner. I would say this is a pretty good pen liner. It's not the blackest pen liner I've used, but it's definitely inky and I really enjoyed the tip of it. Because it's that brush tip, it's really easy to control. And I was able to get a really sharp eyeliner you can actually see I'm wearing it today. My cat eye was on point this week. This was actually something that was highly reviewed on Love Letter, which is why I decided to pick it up, and it's from Hemish. This mascara is excellent. I'm wearing it today. It's really good at separating my lashes, and I'm slowly starting to get back into Korean mascaras. I've tried some really good ones lately, including this one, that I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. This really separated each of my lashes. It really lengthened everything out. It gave me just enough volume where I felt like it created the effect I like. This was probably my least favorite makeup item that I picked up from Love Letter, and this is from The Sem, the Mousse Candy Tint in Strawberry, which I'm wearing on my lips right now. It just really wasn't a long lasting lip tint, and on top of that, I'll be totally honest, I'm not the biggest lip tint girl. I just find them kind of hard to control. And sometimes with stains like this, they're just messy with the application. I end up using my fingers and then I get it everywhere. As you saw in my vlog, it lasted maybe like two or three hours. This is definitely very affordable and if you're the type of person who doesn't mind touching up their lips throughout the day, this might be something that's right up your alley. Now I mentioned these hair care products in my vlog and I have to say how much I love Japanese drugstore hair care products. I really love how manageable my hair feels and I feel like I get a good clean. Also with this hair treatment, I definitely felt like my hair was more moisturized. I'm definitely due to get my hair cut, but in the meantime, I'm gonna keep using these. These are delicious smelling and I really enjoy these and I've heard just excellent things about these in general. This foaming cleanser from Wang Jisoo, I liked it 
But at the same time, if you wear a ton of makeup like I do, this might not be the most effective cleanser. For me, this might be good for days that I'm not wearing a ton of makeup or maybe no makeup days. I'll probably keep this in my shower, use this on low makeup to no makeup days. But if you're looking for a gentle cleanser, I kind of want to look into actually some of their, some more of their skincare products because I've never heard of this brand. I love these. What can I say? This is basically to me like Japanese Lush. I actually stock up on these in Japan and I'm so excited to see that I can now just order them from Love Letter. If you saw what I stock up on in Japan, I included Japanese bath salts. So I'm so excited. I enjoyed some of the different scents of these. They're lovely. They keep my skin nice and smooth. They make the bath water like milky and lovely. And I have a fairly big bathtub, but one of these packets is sufficient in making all the bath water nice and lovely. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and this slightly different format of following me around throughout the week watching me try the different products and me giving you guys kind of my live first impressions as I was trying them out. I will leave links down in the description box below if you wanna check out any of the products that I tried in this video. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.